here. And today I'm doing a Dragons of Tarkir pre-release primer. Sorry that this video is so late. Um, I went to a uh, basketball game last night, so I couldn't uh, make this until um, uh, like late last night, and then I can post it till this morning. So uh, yeah, here it goes. Uh, I'm just going to go through each of the clans and what I think about them. Dromoka, white and green, they go very well together, and white has some good removal. Uh, Radiant Purge is very good. Um, and green is a solid color with good creatures, as in, it is in a lot of limited formats. And you probably want to add black, because black has really good removal. Um... Flatten is probably my favorite removal out of black, but um, yeah, black's just a great color to add, and it also goes well with white and green, so pretty much Abzan, and it's a good choice for a mid-range style of player, and yeah, I, I'm honestly going with Dromoka, and these will go in order from what I prefer, just because I like Dromoka doesn't mean you have to play it, um, I mean, other people may disagree with me, and some people might just be going for the fun. So, uh, yeah, Dromoka is my favorite clan. Next is Colagon. Has good removal on black, like I said in the last slide. And uh, red isn't that great. It's more of a support color with a couple good cards. And both colors do have an aggro theme, which is... um good in a slow limited format if you can just straight up kill them before they get uh, any of their bombs out, especially if they have a slow hand, but it can fail very easily if you have a slow start because a 2-1 is not going to match up against a 4-4 flyer, and it's a good choice for people who like aggro. Next is Ajute, Ajutai, I've never set, set it Ajute, I don't know which one it is, but oh well. Has a uh, solid removal in white, like I said in the Dromoka one. Uh, blue has good flyers and uh, good non creature spells. Like uh, Ajutai's Summons is pretty good. And the new, uh, like, Ponder sort of card, I think it's Anticipate. I might be getting that wrong, but uh, I do like that card. It can keep up with Colagon, but uh, can match Atarka's Fatties. Because uh, it has a lot of small flyers that can block Colagon stuff. But then uh, in white and blue blue as well, it has some big cards. So I think this is a this is a good clan. It kind of adapts to... Um, maybe it's not as powerful in a given situ situation, but it's better than like... Either being really powerful and just winning like 2-0... Then possibly going like two one one two, so uh, this is a pretty good clan. Evasion is huge, um, but in this format, there's a lot of flyers, so you're gonna need stuff to deal with their flyers, and um, stuff that's like unblockable or protection from a certain color. Which I know there's like one spell in white that does that, um, and also killing other evasion, as I said. Uh, it's a good choice for one who constantly likes to have cards to play because there's stuff all over, there's good cards all over the curve with uh, blue and white. So this looks like a fun clan to play. Silumgar uh, has good removal in black, like I've said. Black's very good. Good flyers in blue. Uh, as a Jute, you need some answers for their bombs. As in any format, I mean any clan, you need answers for their bombs or else you need to match them with your own bombs and that's not quite as good as instead of having, oh, whoops, accidentally clicked, um, yeah, and then you need answers for their bombs. Exploit is an okay mechanic, but can be good if you run lots of creatures. So with Silengar, you can kind of go two ways. 
there's like the creature way and then there's kind of the control way. I think uh the control way would be good, but I think exploits okay. You need you need the right cards. That's what I'll say. Uh good for a player who likes control like I said or tempo kind of thing where you like kind of just shorthand and then just go and then kind of temporarily remove their guy, like bounce it or something, and then keep swinging. Uh, Slim Girl looks like really fun overall. I'm definitely going to add the Dragon Lord to my blue-black standard deck because it's very good. Atarka, which is, in my opinion, the worst clan, but if you still want to play it because you like the colors or... um. It just looks fun to you. I know it looks it looks fun to me. I mean, playing a bunch of green and red fatties that like just deal a ton of damage looks pretty fun. But it's really uh, lacking removal. Green's pretty solid, but red's not as good as I said in the Colagon slide. Colors the the colors that they don't have a ton of removal, which I think will be extremely key in this format. And it's good for players who are just looking for fun new cards to play with because green and red do have a lot of fun new cards from the new set that you can play with. And I'm not saying that you won't do well if you pick a Tarka. I'm just saying, like, in the limited format, the, uh, there's not, it doesn't seem like there's as many playables. But, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people will win their pre-releases with a Tarka. And it's, a, I mean, it's got great cards in it. I'm, I don't have anything against Atarka. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry for the late video. Uh, I'll try to maybe get up a vlog for pre-release. I'm not sure, though, so don't hold me to that. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.